Welcome to another neighbor exciting five minute auto pairing. So let's see, let's try French defense here, I think. Let's try this. Okay. Some pressure on d4. Maybe I can try closing up here for a laugh. I'm hoping it's going to be a reasonable idea. To try and close up. Try and stop knight g5. If I bring the other knight to protect that side of the board. <clears throat> so maybe knight b3. Then takes, takes. And then oh, he's got c4 though. All the time. Gotta be careful. Um, so he's restraining my queen side at the moment. Is he gonna try and break open? Ah, f4, f5 is apparent. <clears throat> Maybe I can play knight b3 here. Yeah. C4, I've got d4 square. So if he takes, I think I'll play knight a5 after. Okay, so knight a5 here. Doesn't look as though f5 is major. Maybe bishop b5, then get a knight to c4. I once had a friendly game with Michael Adams, Grandmaster Michael Adams, and he played a bit like this, I seem to remember, in the French defence, in our, in our friendly game. Very positional, controlled. Um, you know, with the uh, B4 and C4 squares eyed. Although here I think I'm, oh, I might be getting into difficulty with this F4. I suppose I'm getting into difficulty. Whoa, okay. Bishop d6. And knight c4 here. It's mission accomplished for that knight and that pawn. So this h6 pawn is a potential thing to be munched. Can I get to play um, maybe rook g3 and double rook g3, knight e5 was the same queen. Okay, here. Uh, I want to keep my knight on c4, really. It's a nice knight. Can I afford to take this and take? I mean, maybe. Knight e5, bit of a munch. It's knight g4 after. What about rook g4 for rook h4? Rook g4 looks good. Looks very good. I'll try this. So the knight's actually stopping bishop e3. So rook h4, if I can double. Um, <clears throat> yeah, okay. So I want to give up h6. That's a question. Rook g8, bishop h6. Well, there's rook g3 after, that might be good. Rook queen h4, rook g4. Let's try it. I think rook g3 is a menace. I'm going to try and win that queen or something. Um, I don't want to give up two rooks for the queen necessarily. What about knight here? Knight e5. Or maybe two rooks for the queen is good. There's d4 for queen c6. He just plays rook g1 or something after. Anything incisive here? <clears throat> knight e3, well, there's knight e5. There's knight d3 to f2 after. That might be tempting. This pawn could be dangerous. Knight d3 to f2. There's rook g2 after that. Oh, now he's attacking this rook. 
Okay, there's queen, queen e3, h6, knight g4. Okay, I'll get the queen in. Queen's the last move. Pouncing on that. So knight g4. Mm, this h6 is a menace. That could be a real problem, to say the least. Knight g4, queen h4. Mm. Okay, I'm getting a bit concerned by this. Um, yeah, very. He's just going to win with h7 coming up. <laughs> oh man. That's. Uh, I can take care. Ends up queening. Unbelievable. I haven't got time to stop this pawn. I suppose I can get ready for rook g7. I don't even think it helps. <laughs> Play for rook g4 after. Another knight g6. It's knight g6 to sack the knight. It's not good. This h7 is a real pain. I'm not going to use anything on that h file soon. Rook g4 to h4. So, hmm, I can blockade like this for a moment. Yeah, this isn't, I didn't really imagine this happening from earlier. Uh, um, now he's on this, he's got queen c5. Get out of the way of that. What can I do though? Hmm. Maybe rook h4. It's uh, rook h4 an idea. For queen h5, trying to get this pawn. If I can get this pawn, that will be. Uh, he's not letting me. Ready to recharge. Well, there's queen takes. No queen takes. Okay. What about rook f4? Hang on a sec. For rook f6, just get rid of it like that. Also, queen f5 for rook f1. It's got rook f3. Okay, this is a pain. What about queen d2 for rook e1? I suppose he can come like this, rook g3 and rook g8, soon. I get queen d2 in. Queen d2. Ah, stopping queen d2. Can I try this pawn? Try and nab this pawn. Okay, it's down to 40 seconds. It's going to be interesting. Um. Right, what major check can I? Oh, he's got the check to win my queen. Uh, okay, let's think. Uh, there's a check on e1. Check. Is that any good? So he's got bishop f4 check happening. Try and get out of the way of any checks. Oh, there's queen b1. Hang on, queen b1. Queen c7. Rook b8. Oh, he's on this. Oh, that looks. So I have to give up the exchange, king safety. Um, I bet it's finished. Can I take this? I can use my B pawn. Time warning. Oh, okay. That looks pretty bad. I, I can't do anything about my rook. I think. Oh, that's so cruel. Oh, well. 
Okay. I don't know. It went uh, bad. Pretty. I don't know. That H pawn was such a runner. Um. Yeah, very tough games on the water power end. Uh, he played like, I guess. I mean, it looked like um. Maybe I was just taking here. This looked good, yeah. It all went a bit wrong. I knew I was giving a concession, but I didn't think it was that bad. But it was. <laughs> uh, what was it? Rook G2 apparently. It's forces. There's knight e5. If his bishop gets out of the way, knight d3. Okay. And the queen could handle things, I guess. All right. So, yeah, this construction is amazing. Actually, something to make note of. This is a very naughty construction. Um, and now, yeah, it's grim. So rook g4 apparently is equal for some reason. Fair. Fair. Oh, rook takes for rook h4. Yeah, it's, oh, that was a pain. Oh, rook g2 here. This. Oh, Check. picking up the rook. Yeah. Interesting. Possibilities. Oh, the forcing move possibilities are pretty good. Oh, queen d2 is good as well now. If here, I'm taking there now. Okay, so I'm missing some interesting stuff. I had queen h2. Oh, that just picks up the rook. That check. Check. So queen b1 would have been good for a draw, apparently. With the check. Check. Yeah. Check. The check. Okay, maybe check. Patch all that. Now this is just better for white. Yeah, that's a really strong move, queen c5. Yeah, this is that uh, pawn at the end of me. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks so much.